and so it, it gets it gets it turns into a battle when when you know that you can stand on your own now you feel like that's why they say women need to be more what, what, what do you say uh submissive, submissive. Maybe because just, they don't need to do anything. That's the thing. The woman doesn't need to do anything. I want to make that very, very clear. A woman does not need to follow your lead. A woman does not need to be submissive to you. Now, when you have game and you know what you're doing, the woman is naturally going to want to follow you. She's naturally and willingly going to submit to you because she sees the value in you. The average G.I. Joe, he doesn't even know his value. So she doesn't see the value. She don't see the value. Then she's not going to do what you say to do. She's not going to trust your leadership. She's not going to want to submit to you willingly. Triple T G gang. We back in his stand. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to, man, why men don't date hyper-independent women. What the fuck is a hyper-independent woman? Anyway, why don't they date hyper-independent women with big-ass egos? All right, so we are going to go ahead and get right into it. Before we do, make sure that you do go cop the merch, man. True to the Game merch is out. Everybody who has been copping and not stopping, I appreciate you guys so much. Stop simping is on the back. And also, if you want my help directly, hit the link in my description down below. You ain't got no bitches. You want one. You got one bitch. You want a ton. Make sure you hit the link in my description down below to make sure that you book a call with me so we can break down your specific situation and I can give you some advice on it all right look if you are a pimp and not a simp like this video comment your thoughts down below hit the subscribe button select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where i'm getting you closer to being a pimp less of a simple get into it let's do men it. saying well women on their independent stuff i don't want no independent woman like truly what is wrong with an independent i don't think it's woman. about being independent it's about how you stand on your independence like if we if, if you are not dating and you got a job and you know how to do whatever you want to do and when I make a decision and say we about to do this, what you gonna say? That's the thing. That's the thing about being an independent woman. What do you mean? Like in what type of facet? Because if you're with a, a a guy with game, right? If you're with a guy with game, he's the leader of the ship. So, like he said, are you going to go with the direction of the leader, the captain of the ship, or are you gonna go with your own leadership? Because if you're going to go with your own leadership, then what's the point of having the man, if that makes sense? What's the point of hiring a captain of the ship if you just want to bump the captain out the way and drive the ship yourself? What's the point of ha having the captain drive the boat <laughs> when you're going to push him out the way and drive the boat yourself? That's the thing, right? But I will say this, that a lot of guys out here don't even know how to be the captain of a woman's ship. Or, matter of fact, a lot of guys out here don't know how to be the captain, captain of their own ship. So, why would a woman even trust the fact that you can get them to the destination if you don't even know where the fuck you're going? You don't even have, you're not even the captain of your own life. So, how the fuck are you going to direct some shit when it comes to her, when you ain't got your own shit in order. So for the majority of the guys out here, they don't even know how to lead the conversation with a woman in the way that they want to lead it, where they want it to go. So much less actually be the leader of the interaction with a woman, leader in a relationship with a woman, leader in a situationship with a woman, if that makes sense. So it takes a lot for a woman to follow a man who doesn't even know how to lead himself if that makes sense so you can't always blame the woman for wanting to be an independent woman get up on it dance flow at work you can't even really be upset sometimes at the woman because there's not a lot of real men who have the leadership skills to take her where she wants to go right it takes a lot of trust for a woman to do that to relinquish that control and you can't expect that woman to relinquish that control to just any motherfucking average G.I. Joe ass nigga, bro. Are you going to battle me when I say we about to do X, Y, Z? Or, we go, or you want to go here? And look, I, look at her eyes. She like. Look at her. <laughs> are you going to battle me when I say we about to do X, Y, Z? Or, we go, or you want to go here and I say we got weight? You want to go to Miami? I know you got the bag. 
I don't need your money. I'm I'm going to Miami with men are with or without you. So it, it gets it gets it turns into a battle when when you know that you can stand on your own. Now you feel like that's why they say women need to be more. What what, what do you say? Uh, submissive. submissive. Because just, they don't need to do anything. That's the thing. The woman doesn't need to do anything. I want to make that very, very clear. A woman does not need to follow your lead. A woman does not need to be submissive to you. Now, when you have game and you know what you're doing, the woman is naturally going to want to follow you. She's naturally and willingly going to submit to you because she sees the value in you. The average G.I. Joe, he doesn't even know his value. So she doesn't see the value. She don't see the value, then she's not going to do what you say to do. She's not going to trust your leadership. She's not going to want to submit to you willingly. And that's the thing. I always tell you guys, a woman should not just submit just because you're a man. A woman should submit because she willingly wants to submit because she's actually really interested in you. She actually wants to fuck with you. But it's not a lot of guys that get that treatment because not a lot of guys have game. It's, it's, when, when you leadership. say submissive, his name. This little, this little, I don't know what this ensemble is. This dude got going on right now, man. I don't know what the fuck he got going. It's like a sweat. It's like he just chopped up a sweater. It's like he chopped up, chopped off the arms of a sweater. It's not even a vest. I don't know what the fuck he has going on right here. But anyway, <clears throat> it ain't about like getting on your hands and knees, but it's about understanding and letting a man lead. But and you women have, don't want has, that no she more. She has to trust your leadership. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? A woman cannot just follow a nigga just because he's a nigga. Just because whenever he fills out his little application and he, they put sex and he puts M for male does not make him a great leader. Does not mean that a woman should relinquish control and, and relinquish her right to be the leader of her own ship, right? To, to you. What reasons are you giving that woman to lead the ship? When you can't even lead your own motherfucking ship. How many times I got to say it? Like I said, women are going to do what's best for them. They're going to protect themselves. Why the fuck would they put their own shit at risk? Knowing that you don't, you don't even know how to lead yourself. And you want to lead me? Nigga, you can't even lead me to the bedroom. Right? <laughs> you don't even know the words to say to get me there. So, come on, man. Chip. Rico was talking about these delusional guys, right? They're mm -hmm. not really dudes, but in their mind, they're like, I'm that guy. Mm -hmm. No, you're just a guy with money. You're not a leader. Mm -hmm. And you get in a relationship with a woman, and you're supposed to think that she's supposed to... And she's like, you're a whole clown, my guy. I'm just with you because, quote unquote, you have the money. She's speaking fucking facts right now, man. Shout out to the DJ. Somebody make room for the DJ to sit on the couch, man. DJ spitting game right now. She's spitting bars. She's absolutely 100% correct. She's correct. The average G.I. Joe ass nigga, what I tell you, is goofy as fuck. Lame as hell. He attaches his own identity and value to the things that he has and his achievements. Not who he is. Who you are, like leadership is a part of who you are. A lot of these niggas don't know how to lead anything, but maybe their business Maybe they know how to lead dollars in their account that they want to spend on a bitch. And then they use those dollars to impress a bitch. And are confused as fuck why that bitch don't respect him. Because he feels like his value is his money. Or his status. His clothes, his cars, his jewelry. He doesn't love himself. He doesn't know himself. He doesn't value himself. Come on. Let's see what she got to say, man. Mm -hmm. And that's part she's of a clown too. Then she is a clown too, Rico. But <laughs> like they're saying, both clowns. My point is that not in all actuality, the woman is not the clown. The woman is taking advantage of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Now you can say, oh, she fucked up for taking advantage of that nigga, knowing damn well she ain't really into him. She into his pockets. But who held a gun to his head and said that she he must do this and he must do that? Nobody did that, right? Now, like I say, ladies out there, y'all better be careful because there are some crazy, creepy ass niggas out here who will unalive you because you accepted maybe a gift from the dude and he expected something in return. Maybe he took you out on a $500 date. Maybe he took you on helicopter rides and shit like that. Maybe he took you to Disney World on a first date and he expects something from you. And there's some sick in the 
mind ass niggas out here, man, who will take you up off this planet because they feel like you owe them something once they spend a certain dollar amount. So ladies, it's all fun and games until you meet that one weirdo ass nigga. Hopefully you have the discernment to know which ones to do that too, because there's some crazy, crazy, crazy guys out here who, if they don't get what they want, they're going to go ahead and you're going to be chopped up in the woods somewhere. I don't mean to scare you, but I'm just saying, you know, so if you want to be 100% safe, if you're not really into that dude, don't go out with him, bruh. Or if you go out with him, let him know, look, we can go out, but I just see you as a friend, Tommy. Okay, this is not going anywhere. I'm not fucking you or anything. So if you still want to take me out after knowing that, okay, cool. But if you don't, I'm just letting you know, putting you up on notice. But even when you say that, some of these guys are just weirdos. They're creeps. They think that they can change your mind or they're going to try to get you on the date anyway. And if you don't, if it doesn't go their way, they're going to chop you up in the woods. So ladies, be very careful. But no, he's a clown for saying that shit. You know, it's so funny that these Manosphere guys get on these podcasts and they do everything in their power to try to make women look bad. When in all actuality, it comes down to the man as the leader. Why are they so quick to bash these women? I want you guys to really wrap your minds around how much they want to bash and tear down women. When aren't they supposed to be the leaders? So if you're a good leader, wouldn't the woman follow? And if they wouldn't follow... Wouldn't you just get rid of the bitch? So is the bitch even relevant? Why would you need to even bash the woman if you're a true leader and you only fuck with bitches who follow you? What reason would there be to tear down a woman? Either she down or she not. <clears throat> a lot of men have that mentality that by virtue of you having a penis, that means you have leadership skills. And you just may not have them. What and maybe say? she's a better leader. Uh, this is the thing I want. Some of these women can lead themselves better than you can, fellas. And if that's the case, you got to work on yourself, man. <laughs> women to understand the difference, right? Women need to understand there's an entirely different... Uh, there's an entirely difference between being self-sufficient and being independent. They are not synonymous. Okay. Just because you can work or just because you work, you take care of yourself and you handle your handle does not mean you're independent, you're self-sufficient. Because if you're a woman who does all those three things and cannot and refuse to not live without your spouse and your partner, that makes you a dependent, self-sufficient person. Same thing with a man. <laughs> Same thing with a man, right? If a man says, hey, look, I can get the world but I can't be independent and live on my own. There's a lot of men who can do all those things and still need a woman. That makes him a dependent, self-sufficient Okay, where are we going man. with this? Now, okay. when you're independent, it's a soul. Synonymous? Is it's not it? synonymous. I'm you don't even know saying. that synonymous means one and the same. But no, that's what I'm saying. You said it's not one and the same. We're not? What, what are we talking about? I thought He's saying they 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 so, they're, they're not all they're, they're, they're not synonymous, but I do they're think not they're not synonymous. There is a difference. Screen? I can't see yeah, she does. <laughs> she does. I do. So uh, hold on, before you do that, right? The dictionary says like this. They say that they're same or similar, but they still they still okay, the same point or are similar. Because see, this is what happens. People need to understand etymology. The same and similar are not the same. That means they can be close. Bro, what are we getting at? Efficient. Yes, you have the ability to work. Yes, you are great at finding ways to make money. Yes, you are great at taking care of yourself and even obtaining certain things such as a car and a house. But that does not mean that you are independent. A lot and of you know what? I'm glad that he said that because just because as a man, you have built businesses, just because as a man, you have a certain dollar amount in your account, just because you're a man and you have all these achievements, and you have the status and jewelry and all of this shit. Guess what? Going back to what the DJ woman said. That doesn't make him a leader. That doesn't mean he can lead a woman. That doesn't mean he can lead himself. Maybe he can lead a business. He can't lead himself. He can't lead the bitch. If people, especially men, I don't think men are independent beings. Right. I don't think that men go ahead and try to conquer all these things just to have it for themselves. Right. Like, uh, so what, what are like they conquering? Alan for? mentioned before. Men do these things and then they seek women that they can build with, that they can. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So he's basically exposing himself. He's basically saying that he's not conquering. 
the business world. He's not conquering things out there in the external world for himself, which is wild as fuck. Because I do everything for myself. Any woman that is able to be in my reality benefits from it. Okay? And, and I'm not even talking business-wise. I'm talking about who I am. Who I am. I'm not talking about how much money I got in my account because that ain't got nothing to do with her. I ain't going to be tricking on her. So what does that have to do with anything, right? <laughs> but me as a person, I love myself that it's going to spill over into all of my interactions with anybody who's able to share space in my reality, bro. And everything that I do and everything that I do conquer and everything that I do grind for, work, blood, sweat, and tears for, I do for me, fam. I don't do for a bitch. That's basically what he's saying. We don't do it for us. And that's what I'm saying. These manosphere niggas, bruh, they sit down on these couches. They want to bash and tear down women to the motherfucking flow. All to just say, turn around and say, that I do all of this for women. <laughs> so how do you shame and, and bash and tear down women and in the same breath say that you do all of this for women? I'm going to stop the video right here. I'm going to drop the mic, bro. I'm going to drop the mic because at the end of the day, like I said, man, you just got to look at these podcasts and shows as purely entertainment. There's not a lot of real niggas on, this sh on these shows and on these podcasts who are actually spitting real game. All they're doing is giving the people what they want because majority of the dudes out here who are watching these type of podcasts are average G.I. Joe ass niggas, right? Unless you're watching True to the Game. If you're watching this channel, you subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't already, go subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to end up like an average G.I. Joe ass nigga and you want to have some game about yourself, you want to shift your mindset, okay? Look, <clears throat> a lot of these guys know there's a lot of weak ass niggas out here watching their content. It's a lot of weak ass niggas who would rather blame a woman than blame themselves. Blame themselves for not being a good enough leader to lead himself first and then to have a woman follow him, right? Because at the end of the day, like I said, what does it matter to bash a woman for her OnlyFans or her body count or whatever the fuck she wants to do, right? Why aren't you just worried about, hey, I am who I am. I lead my own shit. The women who want to be led by me, let's go. The women who don't, who gives a fuck? Who cares what they got going on? What do? What are we showing up sitting on couches for to shame and tear down women? Oh, let's do that because the majority of weak ass niggas out here, that's what they want to see. So y'all have to understand that this shit is a business. It's a business. I know if, uh, if, my, if I created a channel to bash women and be one of these manosphere ass niggas, bruh. I probably would have blown up even more by now. I would have, matter of fact, not even matter of fact, I know for sure, 100%, this channel would have already blown up like crazy. Because the majority of men are looking to put the blame on somebody else. That's what they're looking to do. They're not looking to hold themselves accountable. They're not looking to be the best person that they can be. They're looking to tear somebody else down to feel good temporarily and still not achieve the results that they want with women. At the end of the day, you're bashing women, but you still want to fuck. You still want a bitch to hold you at night, console you at night. You still want a bitch to, oh, I want to build with you. Bruh, how you, wanna, how you still want a bitch? But you're talking shit about a bitch so bad, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, look, if you do not want to end up like these niggas right here on these podcasts, bashing women, and you actually want to build yourself up, build yourself up, so you feel like you don't have to tear a woman down. If anything, you can uplift her and bring her up with you. Hello, that's what a le real leader does. Make sure you hit the link in my description down below. If you ain't got no bitches you want one, you got one bitch you want a ton, hit the link in my description down below. All right, book a call with me so I can give you specific advice cater to your situation make sure you go cop the merch true to the game merch is out true to the game is on the front stop simping is on the back everybody who's been copping i appreciate you guys and if you are pimping out a simp like this video comment your thoughts down below hit the subscribe button select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where i'm getting you closer to being a pimp less of a simp i will see you on the next one and last but not least about this thing stay true to the game